right, here comes old Grandma Jenkins. Um, <clears throat> it's um. Oh, don't, don't answer it. Not him. I'm... It. It's not him. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca. What the? Is that Rebecca? I sounded like her. It might have been her friends. No, I think her friend sounded more like party girl. More valley. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna continue talking about movies. Um, um yeah, and Steven Yeun uh, is so good in it. I love um yes, and he's I really great. Like that. I want him in more things. Uh that's not just um, seven seasons. I of the will Walking say Dead. I will say there were a couple instances where the stock the use of stock sound effects was incredibly jarring. <laughs> Oh, I didn't where I went, uh, the the TV show part, that was just all stock sound effects, and mm. it was like the most basic stock sound effects. <laughs> and I was like, really? You yeah. Kind of like done anything new for that? There were a lot of parts. Oh. What the fuck was that? Was open. I don't like that. I hate fucking voices. Glute. Where's that glute? Is this glute? That's form. There's a glute. <sighs> Inventory jump scare. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Holy shit. <gasps> Whoa! Like a casket? Like an Iron Maiden? No, go towards it. Nope. <laughs> Is that wait, 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 wait? Does it have a lock on it? Oh my god! Does it have a lock on it? Is this how like old embalming was done? I don't know. Oh. Clicked on it. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, pull out your landing strip. Holy shit, man. Maybe you scribble? Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Where is it? Where is it? It could be anywhere. Um. Be cool if it was in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh 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 there it is nine like a nine yeah okay wonder if that yeah I wonder if that is like an old um, it might be that might just be a, an old casket well there was the arm thing oh, on the side that hmm. seemed like a way to like drain blood I was thinking. Maybe. Like the arm is in the side, and you cut the wrist, and it drains. That's that, that was so that it doesn't stay. That is based there, on yeah. absolutely nothing. <laughs> that sure. is based on zero knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> um. Bu -bu -bu uh, okay. Uh, sorry, what were we talking about? Oh, I was I going to scribble. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Um. Um. Oh. Uh, we're talking about nope. Um, there's some of the th scenes filmed at night that just like oh. I don't know. I couldn't see people's faces at night. Yeah, it was very. Where did you end up seeing it? Just um, the oh, the the theater right by me, which is not a oh. Oh, we've entered jaundice mode. Not a good, you know, not the best projection. Um, and it was also quite empty. I hate that. I hate that so much. Oh. <clears throat> um. Yeah, we we actually saw it in a uh, a nice theater. We were the only two people in there. My my mother and I. Um. And so, I when we started the movie, it was like you know two or two or three minutes in it, and my mom is just like right sitting right next to me, and she has her fucking phone out. <laughs> <laughs> and I just went and I just like put my hand over her phone. I was like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like I, and then we started like talking during the movie because no one's there. <laughs> we're just like we're just like oh my god it's crazy this is so... and then i i remember there's a certain scene that happens uh in, near the beginning and i went oh this movie i heard about this movie because i i didn't see any trailers um i had only i literally only heard about it because of wood oh god <laughs> yeah 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 oh uh so the overall like twist slash like stuff just the stuff that happens the initial twist and then the other twist and the other other things that mm -hmm. happen everything is very interesting I, I i did enjoy it um and it's a very anime movie as well they have fucking of course right they have a they have a scene from a movie we recently watched yeah and they have uh and it's not really distasteful it's actually pretty cool they have a character. Oh. They, they have a. There's a character in it that looks like a character from. Uh, um. <laughs> whatever. There's a character in it that looks like a character from Evangelion. Is that true? Yeah. Who? Oh. Think about it. Uh. Jean Jacket. Jean Jacket. Jean Jacket. I, I'm at a loss. I really don't remember. Okay. Well, if you haven't seen Nope out there... Uh, mute for like two seconds. Mute for two <laughs> seconds. Um, the final form of the UFO looks very angel-like. Oh, that is true. That is true. That was a very cool design. Anyways, unmute. You can unmute now. Oh, you can, you <laughs> can unmute now! You, you're like mouthing the words. <laughs> right. Oh, I just... Okay. Nah. Was that a please help me? Nah, don't think so. I think that was a please help me. I don't think it was. <laughs> ah, it doesn't look like anything. I'm looking at my um, board here, and it says it was I, I think that I think that the, the sheer, like... Oh, is that a note? What is that? This? In the, in the cabinet? No, yeah. Oh, no, oh. that's like a weird like, filter or something. Oh. oh! Oh! Interesting. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, wait. Go to his personal belongings. It's in the... He said there was a passcode. No, 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 not that. There's, like, a thing in a drawer somewhere. He was talking about that in the first clip. His personal belongings drawer? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um... You should have fucking died. Yo! You should imagine and your last vision as they That's awesome. I wonder what happens if I... The night shift database. Nice. Awesome. Ha ha ha. All my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these... Yeah, there was something in his... It, up in the database. it had a passcode on it. of demonic names is the most crucial to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode there you to go. access it. Use it. Oh, to access the database. So then that keypad is something else? Yeah, I guess so. Interesting. At first. You could always Wonder. try it on that. Oh. The like lowest sensitivity menu in the world. Two oh four eight. Okay, we'll come back to that. Wonder what happens if I like. What was that? 
my all this database is a collection of all my findings related to the banishment of the of covetous demons, the history of the demonic, and the tools I have found through my research. Years of travel and piercing and piecing together whatever relics remain have been out here. The navigation um, bar at the top right leads to the following subsections: the history of the demonic. Can you look around at all in this menu? Oh, like? Can you look up and down or anything? No. Okay, so I'm just saying this: if something appears in this like weird depth of field of vision above oh, yeah. the monitor, it's gonna scare it the shit out of me. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because you can see the body. The body could sit up right now. I okay, this is gonna happen. I already know it, right? Mm -hmm. Something's gonna happen up there. Okay, go on. Okay, this so this is just the the do. So let's go to we're in the history of the demonic. Oh my god. Since I first experienced contact with demonic entities, I've dedicated myself to researching every session. My journey has taken me all over the world in search of answers. I found that no particular religion has a full understanding of the demonic. While bits and pieces remain true in various interpretations, there is much that is inaccurate or simply unknown. I have compiled what I have from, found from various archives and relics. None of this is integral to the banishment, but this knowledge may still be of use. There's a lot here. There is a lot. This reminds me of, um... Oh, no. Uh-oh. What? I gotta look it up. Because it's gonna bug me if I don't remember it. This reminds Alien me of something. Alien is a long dead lineage recorded to be the lost in the burning of the... Tribes had knowledge of the thing. Text in a spoken language. After the fires, a little was known, recorded, and hidden to keep safe. Known as the ethereal language, was believed to be... Access the remaining documents. Reminds me of a game called Welcome to the Game, which was basically like a hacking game where you go through the deep web and find clues to unlock like mysteries. And it's very interesting. And Satan's... you're just going through like seemingly random things. Sorry. Right. Um, Satan's uh, exile from heaven and his hatred for God drove the creation of the des de desecrated. There we go. Desecrated tongue and a hand. Records had been combined with the remaining documentation. Attempt to discover more of the ancient language. Oh, so, so we'll go up a little bit. So it says a little bit more. So it goes from Ethan to Atahain to the translation in English. Okay. Kofrish is Kotrish is the blood of sin. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, Sif means home. <laughs> Sif do. Hmm. Interesting. But like, obviously, the vessel of holy water isn't going to have an antihane <laughs> word, but blood. He does not know the antihane. Mm. Or it doesn't have... There's no blood except for the blood of sin in Antihane. The mm. implication, I think. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, there's no word for holy or water. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Something's gonna happen. It'd be really creepy if it played something like, like, Dip. like it's your grandma saying something, yeah. telling you to like, or like yourself saying it. Oh god. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Here's our symbols. Holes of I hell. Do, do like some symbols. Yeah, look, they have the monster logo. Or energy logo. Yeah. Uh, bottoms up and the devil laughs. <laughs> bottoms up and the devil laughs. When Satan and his followers fell from grace, he forged... Okay. Previously, he had said, oh, there's no language, no particular religion has a full understanding of the demonic. It's feeling very Christian. <laughs> <laughs> does he just mean no like you know oh it's not 
it's not just the Episcopal Episcopalians that are right. You know, it's also the Catholics. None of them are it's right. Not, you know, but I it's definitely Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is summoning demons to possess you. When Satan and his followers fell from grace, he forged from his throne a great hall. In this hall, three houses were built. I remember three houses. Yeah, they, they developed the game Fire Emblem Three Houses. And he gave positions of power to his uh, envoys within them. These uh, these anime husbandos were to covet the souls of all sin and gather them to bring destruction to God's creation on Earth. They were given charge of the three great houses within the halls to build and command their armies as archdemons of the I devil owned love, human. I fucking love archdemons. <laughs> the mark of the three. In the mark of the three, the devil's hand is seen holding surrounded by iconography of the three. Yeah, so here's your monster logo, uh, fishing and uh, dream catcher. <laughs> Sick. It is a very Shit. cool symbol. Yeah, I was, I was wondering if we were going to... I was right. I was right. Oh, cool. hey, the church found, so, found someone to be guilty of sin beyond the forgiveness of God. The accused could atone for their sins and re-enter the grace of God by undergoing a cleansing of sin known as quarter letting. A priest would bless the holy blood that remained in the sinner before cutting the wrists and along the remaining blood of sin. Mm. Okay. Uh, known as cofris to flow freely into an urn. The blood would be drained until an accused until the accused became weak. This weakness was believed to be the body being unburdened from the weight of oh, sin. <laughs> okay, <All right. laughs> that's All so right. funny. Uh, ah, he's turning pale. The he's turning more a uh, more heavenly pale. Yeah, he's he's not fucking <laughs> red anymore like the devil. He's become pale and white <laughs> and very holy. He's turned the pale color of of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> As the Holy Spirit fills the empty the parts that were emptied out of blood. <laughs> Next, they're gonna fucking inject him with the breath of God by having a bubble of air put into them oh, intravenously. <laughs> oh God! Uh, Imam was believed to be approximately a quarter of the sinner's blood. The kofris was then burned, as the blood was believed to be part human. Very cool. Fucking sick. Lesser spirits. I don't oh, deal. No. I don't deal oh, with lesser no. spirits. Oh, I only no. deal. I only deal with the best spirits, the upper spirits. I've covered lesser spirits, you know. A demon's powers are limited to that of their making. No one, no one entity is strong enough to break into the world thing on their own, and must rely on other spirits to achieve this goal. The following are various entities whose purpose in the demonic plane is to act as tools to reach beyond uh, the veil. Uh, Forces of many uses beyond those of the covetous demons and have appeared around the world where the fabric between the living and the damned is thin. You know what I just realized? This is totally... This desktop background makes so much more sense now that I know this guy is into the demonic. Well, yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, here we go. The woman in white, a fleeting yeah. manifestation of the house of desolation. A fleeting manifestation of the house of desolation. This entity has the power to have a more physical, influential presence in our world. But a dust demon will form a bond with the spirit long enough to reach between worlds. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we're going into we're going into sleep now. Do do metal. It's desired task. Energies to it to make the most successful to possession. The woman in white is only a partial physical presence. <laughs> all right, the all shadow right. man. Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> well, I, can I, do, I hate that them. picture, though. Both of them. Yeah. I hate grainy, stupid, edited photos. They creep me out. Okay, what is this actually saying? Mm. Um, <laughs> okay, it can't... It can inflict harm. It is limited in power to dissipate quickly. Weaker manifestation of the house of immolation. The oh Shadow my God, Man. It's fucking creepy. Oh. Got the, the developer's kids down here. <laughs> John. The shadow man is often seen as a guide, though it may also be used to spy on the living. A covetous demon may form a bond with the spirit to attempt to 
Shadow Man is often seen standing out of the corner of the eye. I hate that. Did you also oh. just look up at the top of the screen? Because I did. Yes. I, oh my god. <laughs> oh. You see, you hear corner of the eye, and you go, uh "Oh." He was totally the one in the mirror that I saw. Probably, yeah. Or maybe. Oh, this. that's creepy. Maybe this. Oh. Okay, fuck. this is probably stuff that we'll see, for sure, right? Oh yeah. It has to be. Wait, what was that? That was an actual uh, car driving. That was an by. actual noise, right? Okay, <laughs> yes. Jesus. I, I heard, heard, I heard like it almost sounded like a a note on an organ. It was really uh, weird. The mimic is a weaker manifestation of the house of invidiousness, and is used mm. primarily to view the living. The mimic is the embodiment of the devil's envy of humanity. This manifestation look, longs to look as human as possible, but suffers eternally to only if disfigured shell. What the true form of the mimic is behind the shell is unknown. Been recorded many times on closed circuit television, often viewing the living quickly oh when seen. God. I wonder that is actually probably what's more likely that was in the mirror. Was. I okay. Every time I see mimic, all I can think about is the first thing that comes to mind. Because when you kind of like understand the lore or like the idea of a mimic, whatever you know of it as first is probably what you're gonna go to. I guess with a lot of things. Are you just talking about like Dark Souls D and D, like Dark mimic? Souls, Dark Souls chess mimics. Like chess mimics is the mm -hmm. only thing that I think of when I think of mimics. I, it's hard yeah. for me to think of like an entity as a mimic that isn't like a chess monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, identifying demonic tendency. While learning the name of the demonic entity is more about waiting, identifying which body is experiencing demonic demonic tendency requires paying close attention. While any of the bodies can be manipulated, it's far easier for the entity to control its vessel. Sudden movements, large or small, can be a sign of tendency. Body appears to be oh. more active than others, or strange markings start to appear, may be signs of demonic tendency. However, the demon is trying its best to remain elusive and may manifest these manipulations on other bodies, which is why it's important to take note of bodies experiencing these events. The more events linked to a specific body, the more likely it is to be the chosen vessel. So then, okay, so then do you have to... Then... Oh, wow. So then do you have... Okay, so it could be any of the three, then? You have yeah. to bound the demonic presence to a specific body yes it's not that you have to figure it out and then that's the one that you already have it's that you have to find it or, or rather no 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 you yeah, were right it's like the an first investigation time. it's an investigation you're right the first time you have to figure out which one it is appearing on and yeah. then that's the one you need to like set your sights on and and do the whole ritual God, so creepy yeah. demonic entity is present the vessel is occupying markings not previously observed. expecting a body additional times is important to spotting these that's very this is very okay. i'm so glad we read this is <laughs> look at um, our unavailable video <laughs> a body of the demonic inhabitants may display sudden movements uh -oh. these movements can be small as twitches mirrors or large and full body manipulation uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh yep. right. this working yeah this thing is huge so uh David. <laughs> Raymond, this feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. This is cool. There it is. That's cool. Fuck! Fuck! What? What? I didn't even see what happened there. Oh, he's, the uh, he just, right. I know his leg moved, but like what, what happened after that? All right. Um, this. he just went fuck and, and moved. The... Oh, and then I cut. Yeah. Okay. yeah I wonder well, if there, wait, I want to see if there's somebody in the window maybe. Cause I, I wasn't really looking in the window. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, I hate that shit. This is David. Yeah, maybe when he crouches, you can see something. Feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. There's probably something in the window. Oh, maybe not. Zooms back out after. There it is. Fuck. Fuck. Hmm. Huh. No. No, I don't know. Interesting. Maybe maybe he heard something. Maybe he was just know. like freaking out. Just freaked out. Yeah. All right, so I'm on that. 
Let's see, we got this L and your nine. Demonic names, probably. Oh, signs. Okay. Immolation, invidious, and desolation. Oh, Ooh, here's, okay. Here's some names. Okay, so House of Immolation. We Baumet. got Balmet and Telduk. Oh, yeah, our possibilities so far. Um. Oh, I feel like I want to take start taking notes. Write something down. Immolation. Well, I, can, I can put actually I can put it in VC text now. Balmet. Immolation. Balmet. Eldic. Eldic. Yeah, I can put it in VC text. Vidious. Shadat. That. Nvidious. Shad it. Shad it. Shad it. Shad it. <laughs> Desolation. Desolation. I'm home. Okay. Okay, so we've already we've already We need to be careful though because some of these symbols seem very similar. I feel pretty confident knowing which ones we've seen though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those seemed pretty obvious. Head back to the that symbol, oh, did you see it? Um, there, a couple of those symbols were the same symbols used in that uh, RE4 <laughs> puzzle. Oh, yeah. Where you have yeah. to, like, turn the thing in the in the graveyard to get a gym. What's really interesting is I spent a little bit of time studying, like, vigils. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it's just, like, interesting seeing, like, a lot of these are, I don't know, these these might these might have, have actual real, real world. You're right. Um, I don't know if they're literally real world background, but they at least like things like this line, the circle and these like these. I, I've definitely seen a lot of these mm -hmm. types of sigils before. Like sigils mean something. Oh, for yeah. The most part. There's there's a couple schools <laughs> of thought regarding sigils. And the one I ascribe to, I was studying a little bit of chaos magic, which yeah. was more about. Ooh, Creating your own sigils and using the power of your yeah. own, like belief. And it's like a, and it's like a combination of different elements, I would assume, or maybe different symbols that that symbolize different feelings or like things that you want to bring. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, it's it's pretty much. I mean, there's there's oh, there's lots of schools of thought. So I, I you know, I'll, I'm simplifying everything as much. Mm. Um, but you know, some people are like. I can create my own sigil. I can make a I can make a symbol, and I'll make this symbol for me will represent mm -hmm. like becoming, you know, exercising more, becoming more healthy, and I'll yeah, and like it, it's basically you're you're put putting it on your energy post into note. that or yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. do some ritual with this where I'll like you know take a piece of paper with the sigil and I'll come onto it or whatever. And then <laughs> or I'll sneeze onto it or dance, dance thinking about it. And then I'll, you know, throw it away or I'll put it over my bed um, mm. and like yeah. touch it every morning. And then, you know, you, but the important part is like, you want to, a lot, you know, a lot of people are like, you need to get it out of your brain once you use it. Um, use it. Um, oh, interesting. Because you need to, it needs to work in your subconscious. It can't work, and it doesn't work in your conscious I, I brain. I think the only, the only, I guess, um, I'm not sure what it would be called, but uh, like something that like a medium would do with you know tarot card readings. But what would that be called? Um, there's a word for it. Uh, uh fuck. It's like um, they're like a medium. They. It's like not mysticism. There's a word for it. It's like five minutes later. Adding like a bit of mysticism is nice and it adds to the pageantry of it. But I think also it's it's just a great way to like. There we go. I very... think mysticism was actually the word I was thinking of. What word? Mysticism. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's, it's very nice to like add this pageantry to like inner exploration. You know, like, yeah, 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 it's not about whether or not you're going to win the lottery. It's about like, how do you like what is what is if you get the death card about this subject, what do you feel about it? Does it feel mm -hmm. like it is not relevant? OK, now you're able to, like, 
it's it's basically more understand means, it's what if you think about end. it through that context now you right. have a more of an understanding about like you're like what you're dealing with oh good i get to go to the tank i get to go to that because we were we were talking about it this was you know a year ago or whatever a couple of years ago where we were doing the fundraiser we had tarot card readings and we were doing like oh god and we were doing um uh was, we, we could do tarot card readings about anything right mm -hmm. um Oh, I wonder Sorry, like, how those how those turned out. I remember we did we did one about what you would think of the Smash it was, characters. Yeah, exactly. That was going to say. We could I don't remember what it was. I, mine was that um, I think it was that it was something that I under I basically I think if I remember right, it was something that like I knew about. Uh, I basically derived it to be something that I knew about already, mm. or that like I would recognize. So I took that as like, oh, maybe it could be something from my childhood. And then I was like, oh, maybe it's Crash. <laughs> hmm. And then it wasn't. <laughs> it was Sora. <laughs> Pretty which, sure. you know, I mean. Um, which is also, yeah, from my childhood. I do remember that. But anyways, uh, that's not the point. The point is like, yeah, like sigils and uh, tarot cards and like all that stuff. All these like small things that like help people to kind of digest life and like uh so not so like uh, organize it in their own mind deconstruct it defragment it whatever uh and put it back together and figure it out um yeah i think that's a interesting method uh i find it very cool and i, I don't think it's important to think of it as like a hundred percent true or anything it's just that it really is simply you're kind of um yeah, just like deconstructing things and putting them back together. <laughs> and then you also have JoJo. <laughs> that just takes the things <laughs> of them and applies them to designs. And it's uh, just cool. Have you watched any of um, part six, the new batch? Uh, no, I haven't. I... Ah, well, you know what it starts with. What does it start with? Little limp biscuit. <laughs> oh. 